G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim, where we are in the Mistlands, right in front of a Verger fort. And yeah, in the previous episode, I, to be honest, got really tired of being nice Viking blue and decided to be the uh, Viking Menace Blue instead, <laughs> and we uh, we essentially started taking out those uh, vergers because yeah, I, I wanted to really just have them fight other things, so we didn't have to kill them ourselves. But you know what? Uh, I I just decided to do it. You know, <laughs> it had to be done. Uh, all right. So the plan for this episode, a couple of things I want to focus on. I do want to still break down a few things here because at the moment this is the main place that I can find pieces of uh, copper and stuff like that, or the, sorry, the copper scrap. Um, but I also want to play around with this thing, the Verger Extractor, which we finally uh, obtained by destroying that little sort of box that the Vergers were protecting. And uh, when we picked this up, there was another thing that un unlocked some kind of an extraction bag or whatever uh, and I think we probably need to make that before we actually use this extractor so uh, the first order of things is I think to go back to the ship it is also getting a little bit dark so uh, probably don't want to stick around here too long uh, and in terms of the location of our portal I think it's probably a good idea for us to, oh god, uh, to move it as well. Uh, just so that we can sort of teleport right on the, um, the site that we're working on rather than, you know, um, rather than having to sort of run to and fro all the time. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. So yeah, that, that's the plan. Uh, and obviously my initial plan though is to get out of here before night falls because I am not interested in fighting all the things around here at night. I'm also not interested in falling to my death to be honest but anyway. Almost there. Good. Alright. Feeling much safer now. Uh, so few things we need to do is just stash some of this stuff so we'll come back for that obviously but we'll take everything else and yeah we'll stash all of this away now uh, the lanterns are kind of interesting because you can actually hold up the lanterns to light up areas I wonder if you can actually build with it though uh, so that's something that I'm not entirely sure of uh, anyway um, feeling a little safer now so I'm very happy about that uh, stuff to stash let's Maybe start with uh, all the stuff up here. So, carapaces. And this jute. Uh, yeah, I think jute can go in there. The Verger trophies. I have no idea what we will need that for, but... Um, I guess it's just a decorative thing, right? I've got to keep the trophies around here, along with some of the other materials. Uh, we've got more marble. Stash that away. And... Coins. Do we have any... Uh, cores around here? I can't remember if we're keeping any cores here. Might just be something that we are keeping down here in the workshop. Okay, right. Uh, seeker meat. I can't wait till we actually get like some kind of a uh, recipe that will actually use the keeper meat because we are starting to bank up quite a bit. Okay, and then there are these, these lanterns. Again, not sure if there is a way for us to actually, you know, uh, hang these. 
it would be nice if we could. But I suppose maybe the thing is I, I need to slow things down and figure out what I can and cannot make. Um, starting with that extraction thing -o. Um So where do I want to stash lanterns? Oh, we've got cores here. Um, I don't know where it would make sense for lanterns to go. Maybe together with the chains and stuff? Might not be a bad idea. It does take an entire slot and it doesn't stack. That's a little bit of a worry. Anyway, um, so we can't really craft anything from this menu. Um, I'm just looking at all that's available from here. Black marble piles. Okay, that's good to know that we can actually make it into piles. That's good. Good. Um, Okay, we've got all of that. Mortar and pestle. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, I wonder how long this has been available for. And maybe I just didn't see it. Um, but I am gonna make it. I'm gonna make it, yep. Um... Suppose we've just like really unlocked all of the marble pieces here, right? I don't really see anything else that's super important in terms of building. Uh, still don't know if we're going to actually switch to marble. I'm pretty happy with our stone house. But I suppose we could perhaps use marble at some point. Jute curtains. Okay, interesting. Jute drapes. I mean, these kind of look cool. But well, we don't really have a lot of blue jute right now. So, it'll probably be a while until we get those. Black marble bench. Black marble throne. That looks really, really cool. I'm, I might switch our old throne to this one. But yeah, in due course, obviously. Um, we still don't have like a new bed, do we? Ooh, we've got a blue jute carpet as well. Interesting. A hair rug. Okay, right. Well, we should think about getting some of this stuff. Um, but again, let, let's focus up. I think the most important thing at the moment might be our mortar and pestle. So let's try and get that. Um, marble, fine wood, and core wood. Okay, probably excessive, but that's okay. We'll chuck it back a little bit later, and this should hopefully unlock all of the stuff that we've been wanting uh, to to make to fuel ourselves. Um, can we put it on the table? I, th I think putting it on the table makes sense in my view, guys. Uh, I'll put it there. It's for the time being. You guys can let me know if you think that's a, a good spot for it or not, but I think it makes sense. Uh, you know, otherwise we would have to expand this place a little bit more and yeah, we don't really have the space for ex uh, an expansion, do we? So, anyway. Uh, there we go. New craft station level 5 and we've got all sorts of new things to get into. Um... So yeah, let's take a look at what we can make. Black soup? Is this... Is this something that we've seen before? Maybe. Blood pudding we've seen before. 
Um, we've seen cooked egg. This doesn't really do too much for us. Fish wraps. Uncooked honey glazed chicken. <laughs> Yum. We can definitely make some of that. I mean, chicken meat, honey, and Jotun puffs. Where did our chicken meat go? Oh, uh, we don't actually have any chicken meat right now. Yeah, okay. Um, we can fix that. Hello, little chickies. We're out of wood. Oh, okay. Needs normal wood. Uh, let me just at least grab a few of them. Sorry guys, but you, you guys are all going to have to go. And we've got eggs here. More eggs. Couple of hens. That's okay. And I should maybe get some wood and warm these guys up a little bit. Just so that we can get a few more chooks going. We should have some normal wood sitting around just over here in our little dungeon. So yeah, let's throw some wood in. Throw some wood in here as well. Okay, and I've accidentally taken the seeds there, so I'm just gonna drop that. And it's a good source of feathers as well, which is quite nice. Saves us from having to, uh, you know, hunt birds. Uh, and then here's a new one. We've also got Mushroom Omelette. A delicious omelette with an earthly aftertaste. Stamina 85. We need eggs and Jotun Puffs for that. Uh, so the Jotun Puffs, I've only seen a few. I haven't, I haven't exactly found too many. Uh, so I'm a little bit concerned about, about this. Um, and this is uncooked. So I can't really tell how much uh, benefit we get from it, but let's make... Oh, I don't know. Do we need just one? Will will we be able to put like four in, I wonder? Okay, yeah, we can. We can actually get four in there. Right. Um... Yeah, there we go. Let's throw a few more in. Good. Um, and then these mushroom omelets. I mean, yeah. I mean, they they might be good. So we do need maybe a few more eggs to work with. And I might make like I don't know three. We will run out of the Jotun puffs though. Maybe I can only make two. Yum yum. So I'll start using that actually for um, our expedition. 80. Okay, that's really good, isn't it? Um, right, right, right. Um, okay, so... Let me stash away that, and I think I'll stash the lox pies, and so we can start eating chicken. Um, and yeah, this is freaking awesome, this mortal and pestle. 
Uh, I feel like it's probably been <laughs> available for a while and I've, uh, I've sort of only slowed down right now to actually take a look at stuff. So my bad on that front. Um, that's okay, we got there in the end. Uh, let's put stuff away. And I think what I'm going to do is also start getting some more honey a little bit more regularly because um, we're going to need all the honey that we can get. I uh, I missed my chance in getting the, the wisps. That's alright. We've still got a few though, so I'm not really going to stress too much about that. Okay, all right, uh, let's stash that. Jotun puffs as well, maybe I can leave it there. Um, anything else we sort of just need to stash away. Uh, before we do though, I want to check on the extractor thingy um, and how to make that. A bound wisp to guide you through the thickest of mists. A bound wisp to... okay, right. Uh... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Hang on. Are we missing something? Oh, we, we're missing... Oh god, alright. I, I grabbed tin. My bad. I looked at the wrong thing. Yes, give me that wisp light. Sweet. Okay. Cool. So, how does this work? Okay. Oh, I see. Alright, alright. It replaces the Menganjord. So, perhaps maybe we can't always use it. Uh, so, you either use the Wisp Light to sort of uncover the the fog, or you put down these, which, I mean, both are good options. Obviously, you would want you to use Megan Jordan when you start uh, having too much stuff on you, though, so, all right, all right, um, one second, guys, I, I can't remember if I looked at absolutely everything here, so I just want to take a, another look. Um, uncooked mist Hair Supreme. We need more Jotun Puffs for that. Carrots? Not going to be an issue. Salad. Okay. I mean, onions and cloudberries, easy. Jotun Puffs. We, we need to look out for Jotun Puffs when we go back out there. Alright, and I think that's all of the stuff, all the new foods that we've seen. Oh, no, no, no. There's this. Uncooked Meat Platter. Oh, yes. Okay. We've got plenty of all of that. Oh, well, except for the hair meat, apparently. But we should be able to make, what, four? At the very least. Chuck all of that in here. Since we've got the fire going. Yeah, Jotun Puffs. We, we definitely need more, don't we? Um, Alright, I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna drop that off to the windmill. Again, I know the windmill is not in the right position, but... Uh, it'll do for us for now. Um, 
we'll eventually move it. Just in time. Oh, one more. Let's take a look at this thing. 80. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. We're looking really, really good. I mean, Serpent's shoes are also 80, though, right? Um, 85, 75. Yeah. Alright, alright. We'll stash that away for when we want to have a, a really big meal and when we need more health. Uh, right, so again, let's let's focus up on <laughs> more stuff that we can actually make right now. So, um... Yeah, we still need to make the Fenris stuff, don't we? You know, I don't know how I feel about going back to the mountains just to look for the Fenris... Uh, trophy. Fireworks. We're probably going to need the saddle sometime very soon. Horn of Celebrations. One year since we arrived. Skull. Okay. I guess this is maybe a reward for playing the game for a year or something. Well, in, like, 365 in-game days, maybe. Um, does it do anything for us? Maybe. Should we try it? Um, why not? Iron, bronze, troll hides. We might not have bronze, actually. Troll hides we need. Maybe that much. Need to make the bronze first, though. Uh. Oh god, I I keep picking up the wrong thing. I picked up silver instead of the tin. Bloody hell. I'm gonna have a quick snack. Right. Now. Horn of Celebration. Craft. Sweet. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. Does it replace anything? No. Okay, it's just... <laughs> it's basically like a tankard. You're out of mead. What? You drink the potion. Oh, right, right. Okay. I see, I see. I see how it works. So you have to have some kind of a potion in hand or in the inventory before you can actually use it. Right. Um, well, that's cool and everything, but... <laughs> I, 
I, th I think it's just a for funsies thing. So we'll leave that. Uh, and yeah, we'll stash stuff that we don't need. Maybe I'll quickly check on other stuff that we can potentially make. I think maybe the normal workbench we've already exhausted everything. Uh, but we'll definitely take a look at what's going on in the forge. Um... I'm still not seeing anything new. What about here? Huh. I'm looking for that extracting thingo. Like a extracting bag or whatever it is, I think we unlocked. Um, again, can't remember exactly the name. But I thought it would be something that we would have to make before we go ahead and use the, the needle thing. Um, Alright, I'm not seeing it anywhere here. Perhaps... Uh, and this this could be just a maybe thing. Uh, perhaps maybe I s simply need to approach the roots and try to extract and perhaps maybe the bags might come out that way. Uh, and we don't actually need to make the bags beforehand. So what I'm going to do is actually experiment by going back and uh, seeing if I can use that new item without having anything else in hand. These barley wines, I think I do want to just stash them away. Right here, our... Reinforced chest is getting very, very full, isn't it? Um... Yeah, I've got a lot of food. I think this might be weighing us down quite a bit. And the food, probably. Wisp lights. Yeah, that doesn't even weigh anything. Alright. Uh, this is good enough. I mean... If I set out right now, though, we might actually have a bit of an issue because we might have to come back immediately and, you know, avoid the night. So I'm sort of thinking whether or not there's anything else I can do right here. Um, I might see if I can do some foraging right now, guys. Because um, we do need some more uh, mushrooms and thistle, as I mentioned in the previous episode. So we'll just quickly do that. Um, and when it gets late... Uh, I'm going to pretty much sleep the night away and then immediately make our way to the Mistlands. Um, I am making a bit of a blunder here with uh, not having enough food. Stamina foods. So, I'm just gonna quickly have some bread. Alright, and in terms of health, I think we're okay if we're only headed into the Black Forests. Would have been a good idea to grab Eek there, but that's okay. I don't really want to waste using Eek there because then we'll have to wait like another 20 minutes or so for the power to return. And I'd prefer 
using it on bone mass when I am in a bit of trouble in the Mistlands because yeah we're, we're not going to be sticking around here anyway. Hit up all of the mushroom locations at the very least. Um, yeah, if I see bits of thistle anywhere, I'll try and grab those as well. Probably don't need a lot, lot, but. actually kind of surprised that we haven't come across any more thistle at this point. Us usually they're just like everywhere. Um, not seeing too much around here, even though I've marked the location. do have a troll up there. Don't want to have to fight it actually. I'll just leave him alone. This could probably be a, a good time for the wisp light, right? the way for us a little bit. Great Wharf Nests. seeing too much more. Alright, and it's getting dark, so probably a good time for us to go back. I mean, not the biggest hole you've ever seen, but I'm okay with it. I uh, have no idea if we'll need blueberries or something like that at some point, but maybe won't really hurt to grab some more. like fullings. That's a bit of a worry. If there are fullings out here. Yeah, I definitely heard some fullings. Why on earth are there fullings here?
I wonder if Grey Dwarves are actually attracted to the Wisp Light. That could be, again, more fooling noises. Or I wonder if foolings just like randomly appear after we've defeated Yagluth. And perhaps maybe they could just literally spawn anywhere. Anyway, um, time to stash away all of our stuff here. Mushrooms, thistle, and... So I'm wanting to bring some wood because I want to set up... Um, a workbench and uh, a portal at that fort location. Um, in hindsight though, I think we probably already have a workbench at the fort, so um, that's probably not really required. space for feathers. Okay, looking decent. We just need to sleep. And I think we'll immediately go. Uh, so, the trouble is finding one of those routes to interact with. I think there's one near the boat. So, I'm gonna try and see if we can use this needle thing to extract whatever it is that we're extracting. Stash that there. Oh, and I accidentally put everything else away. Good times. Um, want that, and I want blood pudding, and I want... Our chicken. Good. Let me maybe consume a serpent stew. That should keep us going for a little bit. in the right spot. I want to be hunting more of these hares. We definitely need more of them. So it should be around here somewhere if I'm not mistaken. Here, I think this might be it. Uh, let's chuck that on. Okay, no, that's not the route that I'm looking for. There, there it is. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll do one of these here. By doing that, I think I can just use Megan Jord from here. Um, oh, my bad. I, I forgot the tools that I need for the job. Um, but at least we know where it is. Can I maybe put that down there? Roots.
Um, I was just trying to equip it. Okay. So, can we do it here? You can't use Verger Extractor on Ancient Roots. But it's pulsating with energy though. Um, uh, Okay. The only other thing that I have an idea of is perhaps maybe going to the bones. And... Extracting from the bone. Or the bones from the, the skull. Um, I'm just trying to think, do I want to go to the fort and set up a portal there first or maybe go to the bones first? Let, let's try the bones first. Oh no, I'm not interested in in the yoles right now. Let's not worry about it. Yeah, those hairs are definitely slippery little buggers, aren't they? It's gonna be difficult to try and get more hair meat. Right here. So... Yeah, okay, we can't use it on petrified bone. What about soft tissue? Oh, okay, right. <laughs> um... Right, um, well, I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on the, uh, on this, what is it? Verger Extractor. I could call it a needle before, but I guess it's not really a needle, is it? Um, might need to again rewatch the previous episode to see if there are any clues there. Um, otherwise I would. Spend some time trying to just look online for it. We'll see. Yeah, hunting hares is so difficult. Right. Um, also, uh, one thing that I've noticed is we've got... Um, like one out of ten of this thing which means I'm guessing we could have more than one and we might actually need more than one which means we're probably going to need to raid even more forts and stuff like that at some point which I don't mind doing Okay, um, 
So I think the plan right now is I'm going to leave this workbench here. And the boat is also probably going to stay in that location. Or I wonder if I should sail and just park the boat here. That's also an option. I think it's probably okay to leave it here, to be honest. Uh, the portal, however, I do want to take. So let's quickly grab that. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take all of this and move. Get ourselves to the fort. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Okay. We do need to stand our ground though. Uh, because obviously they can take out our boat and that's also a, a really bad thing. I'm not sure what they're doing over there. Take out. Now, can I deal with a soldier? I can. I just need a bit more stamina, though. Seems to be stuck up there. I'll take it. Okay. All right. All right. Panic averted. Do you have a uh, soldier trophy there? I don't know how important that is. I'll get rid of stones, actually. We don't need stones. A seeker trophy. Um, again, not sure how important the seeker trophy is. Maybe I can leave the extractor. Chuck that there. Yeah, a whole bunch of stones everywhere. That's fine. Don't need all of that. Um, I was going to relocate, but I think it might not be a bad idea for us to just quickly teleport right now. Stash. A whole bunch of stuff and then come back
Alright, decent. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's do this. Bloody hairs, man. <laughs> oh. I wonder if there's an easier way to try and get them. So, I have a feeling, guys, that um, we may need to bring some of the scrap copper, or copper scrap, back home uh, and see what it, you know, actually pushes out once it's processed. And perhaps only then will we unlock uh, some new equipment, things like armor and the like. Um, that could definitely be a possibility. But the problem with that though is we don't exactly have much um, to sail back with, right? So I feel like it's going to be a bit of a waste if we only sail with such a small amount. Let's have that. And I'm going to chuck in our portal right here sweet okay now we should be able to go to and fro pretty easily from this location and we can just start mining the hell out of everything that we see here basically again hopefully there might be an easier way to find the uh the copper. I don't know. I don't know if this is the only way. Perhaps maybe I could be doing more uh, exploration. It makes sense that we would be able to find the, the copper scrap from somewhere else. Okay, that only gave us some wood. I thought we would get copper from that. Okay, it looks like the... the marble can have some kind of copper reinforcements on it. But the wood... Despout, uh, despite the... Um, the look might not actually have the copper scrap. I wonder if it would be better to... sort of... destroy... like the foundations or something like that and just have the entire structure crumble down. That might not be a bad idea. I mean, it is a lot of effort though, isn't it? 
We may as well focus on the sections that do have the copper scrap on it. I think that's probably a better move. Trying to decide what's going to help us break things down the fastest, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it is late and I'm probably going to be attracting enemies to me by making so much noise. Uh, so what we'll do... I mean there is a workbench here right so I can probably put this but let's maybe be a little bit safer and get an actual chest in. We'll stash that there. Okay let's go back. Ooh, goodness me. I think we're making some progress here guys, it is some very slow progress though I feel. At the very least we have learned a whole bunch of new, uh, in uh, sorry not ingredients, we've learned some new recipes and uh, we've got better foods to work with. Still no upgraded equipment though, um, haven't graduated from the planes gear that we have, so I'm hoping that that'll happen sometime soon. Just gonna stash that away and I want to maybe grab some more wisps here. We did end up using quite a few of the wisps this time. And I should be able to just go back this way, maybe pick up some of the flour that we've been making. Yeah, it is still working actually, and uh, <laughs> there is no wind, uh, so it's not really working at all. That's alright, we'll, we'll leave it. I'm okay with that. Um... I don't want to throw any more barley in there just yet though, because we may have a need for barley to actually plant. Any more wisps on the way. There we go. Okay. I think we're still good to go for uh, more gathering as soon as we wake up tomorrow. So yeah, let's get to it. And yeah, I'm thinking we might call it an episode here uh, when we come back in the next one. Uh, I'm thinking if we can break down everything at that fort pretty well, and we've gotten all of the copper that we can out of it, uh, we might be ready to try and sail back with the, the copper scrap that we have, uh, and then we'll see how that uh, enables us to progress a little bit more in the game, hopefully. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm going to figure out 
try to figure out what we need to do with this extraction device that the dwergers have left for us. So, again, um, I thought I had an idea of what it was supposed to do, but I uh, I thought wrong. <laughs> There's uh, definitely definitely uh, something missing here. So. Anyway, uh, I am calling it here guys, hope you enjoyed this episode and as usual, leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.